The moment of truth. Would they sink or swim? After months of creating, building and testing, the nerves and excitement were tangible as five teams of young people saw their ROVs take to the water for the final of the Sea Perch competition at Langford Swimming Pool, organised by Ports of Jersey. The inaugural competition was launched in September 2021 when the teams were briefed by their mentors from Group Technical Services at Ports of Jersey and told what they would have to achieve for the challenge. It's brilliant to see you here today, but now it's showtime for you guys. Students from Grainville, JCG, La Rocquiere and Le Kennebe schools, alongside the Jersey Sea Cadets, were each given ROV kits oh supplied by Robo Nation, and then it was over to them to add their own innovation and ingenuity. All excited just to have a big go, and this is a proper island competition. The Sea Perch competition is all about inspiring the next generation of engineers, electricians and technicians as well as showcasing the variety of future career opportunities at Ports of Jersey. Sea Perch is just this amazing combination of bringing a big company together, really, really bright kids together, to actually solve challenges in the real world. Over the past few months, the teams have worked hard, putting in extra hours after school with the support of their teachers and technicians from Ports of Jersey, who've mentored them during the build stage. So my best advice to the students is to measure twice, cut once, think about everything you're doing and write everything down for your poster presentation. Having the guys from Ports of Jersey has been really useful because they've given us new things to think about and new ideas. We were like super impressed with the response we got and the questions that we got on the launch day. The way they're thinking, and that's what we wanted to try and do, you know, is to try and get them to think about it differently, to think about what they're doing and how it's going to work in the water and in the competition. They weren't sure what they were going to do, but really took it on board as soon as we got into it. All of the ROVs were performing well in a controlled environment, but how would they fare when put through their paces in the pool? They had to take part in the speed run challenge, the obstacle course, recovery challenge, and the observation mission involving a submerged shipwreck. They also had to present their work and experience to a panel of judges. We've had one major problem where the motor on the top didn't actually go up, it kind of just rested at the bottom. So we fixed that. They were all excited about this day. They've enjoyed the build and we've had fun along the way, testing and changing. It was all for this day, really. I really think my skills have 100% been just like raised, like teamwork, you know, working together. This has been so fun to make. I thought I'd known quite a bit about this and then the people from the Ports of Jersey, absolutely fantastic. They've given us tips. They use skills that they start to use in the classroom and now because it's a real world project, they've been really using problem solving skills and particularly teamwork. Two and a half hours and five challenges later, all of the teams had impressed the judges. What the children have done today has just been incredible. I mean, they've taken such basic items and produced a vehicle which works in the harsh environment. We know it's exceeded my expectations massively. But there could only be one winner. The winning school is La Rocchier. Well done, guys. How does this feel? Uh, it feels absolutely brilliant. Congratulations to La Rocquier and all the teams. If you'd like to get involved in the next Sea Perch competition, get in touch.